Um, personally, I think that religious diversity is a, a good thing. I think that if people um, like want to be involved in like um, the more of the um, prayer aspect of um, of Tehran, well, you know that's their their option and the emotion more of the emotional aspect, and that's a good thing. You know, there should be there should be diversity. It's like people like listen types of listen to different types of music, and even the same person sometimes he likes. To Listen to Mozart, other days Bach, he doesn't like all, all the time all the same thing. And it's usually on the same day he likes different things, different, like food, you know. Um, so there's, there's different types of religious experience. There's prayer and then there's learning the Talmud. And these are all valid and, and good things and, and the world's healthier for that. But what shouldn't be is you shouldn't have a, um, you know, you should have, if, you're, if the, a system is being presented as moral, um, well, it should be a moral system. It should have like an adequacy condition for being moral. Um, and, um, you know, and Torah fulfills that. You have like a priori rules underneath it, and, and Rabbi Nachman also belongs to that. Um, but some of the, the problems with other groups of Hasidut is that they don't fulfill the basic conditions of a uh, moral system. Um, you know, for instance, like uh, according to um, the Babich, you know, non-Jews are all. Um, you know, this is the first t- chapter of the Tanya. They're they're animals. They have only have animal souls, and don't have divine souls. Um, and um, so there's not really much uh, stopping a person from uh, just you know murder, rape, and um, other otherwise. Um, and for a system to be moral, it has to be logically. D- uh, uh, be able to derive from the system logically um, that um, you know going around and murdering, raping, and um, torturing like uh, ten, ten, um, ten hundred million people would be wrong. And um, um, Hasidim can't uh, don't don't do that with their systems. And that probably explains why they in fact in fact act that way towards uh, um, non-Jews and towards secular Jews and uh, also to either, even other religious Jews that aren't part of their, their groups um, sort of explains their behavior, the fact that uh, they're not moral systems that are just claiming to be moral but the claim, the claim and the reality is different. Okay, well, thank you.